Welcome to the C.S. Joseph Podcast. I'm your host, C.S. Joseph, and we are getting through our Acolyte questions. If you would like an opportunity to uh, get your questions answered in the form of a YouTube video, you too can become an Acolyte member at csjoseph.life forward slash members. Make sure you are a Journeyman member, and then after you sign up for Journeyman, you get an opportunity to become an Acolyte. Or if you can't get to those pages and can't find those, go to csjoseph.life forward slash portal and you will see the journeyman and the acolyte access uh, pages right there at the top of the screen. Hopefully that helps. That being said, uh, let's get into today's question. Quote, what are the best ways to increase income as an INFJ? Side job, new job, extra skill needed, passive income, skill needed. Your answer doesn't have to be on every area, just on the good ones in your eyes. You're asking an FI trickster for the good ones? Really? This No, 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 no. Okay, so here's the thing. INFJs, like, to increase income, assuming you already have a job, maybe you're a computer programmer, for example, because that's, like, the best, uh, you know, being a DevOps engineer or computer programmer, uh, understanding and working with code, being a code monkey, you know, those types of things are the absolute best possible profession, in my opinion, for an INFJ, other than being like an athlete. Uh, so, or a, um, or a, or a singer, um, or you know, an, a, a recording artist, basically. But outside of those, you need to make some extra money, yeah, have a side job, like pretty obvious, but like what would be the most efficient way, right? Well, honestly, you need to go to csjoseph.life forward slash reading. You need to scroll down to the Entrepreneurship 16. You need to read all of these books in order. A couple of caveats though. Book five in that list, which is launched by Jeff Walker, the most important book there. Do not get the first edition, even if the link takes you to the first edition. You're going to want to get the second edition. Also, the book called Traction at the very end of the list is an absolute waste of time. Do not read that book. It still needs to be taken down for our site. I just haven't had the chance to do it yet. It's a horrible book. It needs to be removed, and I don't want it on that entrepreneurship lit list whatsoever. After you're done finishing all of those books, and in order, by the way, although the goal actually should probably be moved to the end of the list, uh, but start with all of those books, get through all of them, including Crush It and Crushing It. I know how annoying it is to basically be reading the same book twice when it comes to Gary Vaynerchuk, but you really, like, literally Crush It explains the why, whereas Crushing It explains the how using actual anecdotes and testimonials from certain people. So it's really important to get through those books. But yes, ultimately, the best way to increase income as an INFJ is to become an entrepreneur. And Simon Sinek, an INFJ, did exactly that. He started off as a marketer, and then he learned marketing and did really well in marketing. And then he used his marketing skills to market his own book and his own personal brand using his ENFP shadow. It's not really that hard. One of the tools though, and there's a lot of different tools out there that you'll probably get sucked into when you learn how to do this form of entrepreneurship that is contained within these books. Products like Kajabi, uh, products like Kartra, uh, ClickFunnels, uh, HubSpot, etc. avoid them. Uh, Teachable, Teachable's okay, but I, I would still recommend avoiding Teachable. I, if I were you, I would consider SamCart, S-A-M-C-A-R-T, SamCart.com. It's like 550 bucks a year. Uh, unless you can get it on sale, it's like $340, $350 a year. And make sure you get their Creator University and take the one-page master class, class, basically, that course. And also, I do recommend at tylopez.com the SMMA, Social Media Marketing Agency course, not for people to become a marketing agency. I, I don't actually agree with that. But everything else in the course... Uh, and I still think you should even watch the videos about agency and how to conduct business. They're useful. It's still useful. It still actually has value. And if you combine the SMMA course with the SamCart one page masterclass, as well as everything that you read in the Entrepreneurship 15, you will have literally all of the knowledge at your fingertips right there to actually get started with your own business. Okay. And then you can run your own business. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Um, is you just have to spend the time. It is really about time spent. And I get INFJs don't really know where to start with this sort of thing. I, I understand that. I, I totally get it. But the reality of the situation is, is that I've just given you where to start. And if you don't do it, well, that's because you're lazy or because you don't want it that much. 
that means it's your own damn fault. Therefore, not my problem, okay? So make sure that you're going out of your way to understand you know, that because that is literally the best way, folks. That is the absolute best way to live life these days uh, is to get to entrepreneurship in that regard. Because besides, if you took the Ty Lopez SMMA course combined with a one-page masterclass and you read all those books, you'll know more about sales, marketing, and entrepreneurship and literally take any passion of yours. It could be League of Legends. It could be Magic the Gathering. It doesn't matter. And literally turn it into a business. The thing you love the most becomes your business and literally your income. Why would you live your life any other way than that? Especially as an INFJ. Yeah, and I hear it's all about what you want, right? Why aren't you doing that, okay? Start with these resources. I guarantee you a much more favorable outcome than you are. And then eventually, you won't actually have to have your nine to five job anymore and be a code monkey or a DevOps engineer anymore. You could just move on and just live your life the way you want. Imagine being able to travel anywhere you want, anytime, for any reason, and all you need is an internet connection. Get a 5G phone with a hotspot and then just connect your computer to it and live out of your car, for God's sakes. If the winter, the snow starts dropping in winter, go hang out in Miami for all of winter and then go back to where you were beforehand. Who knows? Just do whatever you want. That's okay. But that's literally how you get success. It's literally just reading these specific books. I know Ty Lopez is like, oh, you know, I'm really successful because of all these books that I read, you know, and ENFP, your golden pair, as this is an INFJ who asked this question. But the reality is, is that <clears throat> I try to give you guys specific books that have been properly curated, right? That way you're not wasting your time, okay? So there you have it. Follow all those instructions, and that is the best way to increase income as an INFJ. It is much as it is the best way to increase income for any of the 16 types. It's just that some of the types are not really well suited for entrepreneurship. Barely in barely any ESTPs do it. Same thing with ISTPs. Uh, SFPs can do it sometimes. They usually like a carpenter, just work with their hands. Don't really know very many ESFP entrepreneurs. It's, it's very rare. And uh, SJs, you know, they. It's also very rare to see SJ entrepreneurs. Although every now and then, like an ESTJ will do it. Uh, but the others, not really that much. I don't think I've ever really actually met an ISTJ entrepreneur. Uh, and uh, intuitive types, entrepreneurship is extremely common among all of them, literally all of them. Uh, although the one that would do it the least. Probably the ENFJ would probably be the least likely to be an entrepreneur uh, within uh, the eight intuitive types. So anyway, folks, uh, that was a lot of information. I hopefully uh, you guys all do that and become entrepreneurs. So I have a lot of entrepreneurs uh, within the uh, CS Joseph uh, community. That would be awesome. So anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tonight. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul.